Welcome to this episode of the Free Your Energy podcast, where we are about to talk about burn out. This is something that I experienced last week. Burnout. Look, I've been in my business for uh, 10 years. I've been working since I was 14. A high school athlete who also had a job, walked on to a college football team, taking 15 credit hours per semester while having a job and being in a relationship. Leave that, continue working. There was never a break in, in work, just always working. Never really took a vacation. Even when I was on vacation, I was working, <laughs> you know? I finally reached a point now where I have a two-year-old and let's just be honest, because a lot of people don't want to be honest about this. I don't know if you guys are scared to look weak or maybe this conversation just isn't in the, in the, in the norm, but I don't really care what people think about me. I'm not weak and I don't care if people think I am. I don't give a damn. But being a parent is hard, right? It's hard work. I finally reached a point where I've been an entrepreneur in my business for 10 years. My my kid, two years. It just finally, it kind of just all kind of grabbed me like, wow, this is stressful. And we need to be very honest. That's my invitation to you is, is to be honest because stress is something that, you know, it shuts down your immune system. It keeps you in a lower vibration. doesn't allow you to heal. Stress is something that we have to be mindful of. And not all stress is bad, but it's just that we have to be mindful of the stress we're putting on our bodies. You know, I reached that point where I had some serious stress on me. Instead of just powering through, pushing through, I gotta get this money, I gotta grind, I gotta, you know. I said, hey, you know, I need to take a step back. I need to take a step back. I think about a baseball pitcher, right? If you're experiencing burnout, you'll probably get this analogy. Think about a baseball pitcher, you know, a professional pitcher who's great at his or her job, but you go out there one day, you're playing the Dodgers, <laughs> right? They get a hit off you, they get a double off of you, you walk a batter, and you're just like, okay, we're losing this game four to one. And again, you might be one of the best pitchers in the world, but on that day, you don't have your best stuff. You don't have your best stuff, so what do you do? Well, you think you can just keep pitching. So you just stand out on the mound and you just keep throwing and it doesn't go your way. And so your coach has to step in. Your coach has to walk up to the mound and you know how they do it. They walk up to the mound, they point out to the dugout, you know, to have somebody else come in and the coach will walk up to you and they'll, you know, he'll put his hand out. Pitcher will take the ball, put it in the coach's hand. <laughs> You know, and then the pitcher walks away, head down. You know, they're like, grab the cap. You know, <laughs> it's funny because that pitcher is not a bad pitcher. It's just that on that day, he didn't have his best stuff. He probably won't pitch again for the next four or five days. He'll have he'll have practice. He'll probably get some some therapy. Probably do some stretches. Uh, it'll probably be about it, right? Why don't we do that for ourselves? That's my invitation to you, is to recognize when you don't have your best stuff and to see, is this a moment for me to recover? Is this a moment for me to reset? Recover, reset, re? Is this a, is this a moment for me to get back to the basics? I did that myself. Uh, if you don't know that I, I do coaching on the side, and so I've been coaching people for about six or seven years now. I had a couple coaching clients, but I knew Listen to what I'm about to say. I knew that if I was going to show up for my coaching clients, it was going to be a performance. It was gonna be me showing up, making myself tell jokes, making myself hold space for them, uh, making myself, you know, ask questions. Hey, what do you know, what do you, right? Could, could have easily done it. Could have easily, I've, I've been coaching for six, seven years. I've coached hundreds of people. I could have easily done it. But what's the consequence of that? Well, it would have been inauthentic. I don't believe in that anymore. I don't subscribe to that anymore. If the actions are not genuine, I don't want it. It's that simple for me. If the actions are not genuine, I don't want it. Like, I don't want it apart. I don't I don't want it. I don't want to do it. And I don't want it around me. It's kind of like when a friend invites you somewhere and they're like, hey, yeah, you know, if you want to come. It's like, damn, you're already there. You, you know that you've been going for four weeks and now it's the hour before the event. You say, oh yeah, if you want to come. I don't want to come with that kind of invitation. I mean, that's just me. I want you to call me. If you knew you were going four weeks ago, call me four weeks ago. Hey, in four weeks, I'm excited about this event. I got this thing coming up. You should totally come with me. Let's go together. Like, if that, if that type of energy is behind it, I'm going to go, right? You're going to go. 
you know, you've gotten that invite before where it's like 10 minutes before the event and someone's like, yeah, if you want to come. Hell no, I don't want to come with that type of energy. <laughs> it's not genuine. <laughs> no, I'm not coming. I'm about to just sit here and play Warzone or go for a walk or something, man. No, I don't want to come with that type of energy. I want genuine. I want a genuine invite, right? And I know you know. <laughs> I know you know what I'm talking about. I gave myself, you know, three, four days off. I sent a message to my coaching clients. I said, hey, look, I can show up for you today, but today is not my best day. I don't have my best stuff. And I would like to reschedule for next week. Of course, they were understanding. Of course. So my invitation to you is, I think burnout is a good thing. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because burnout shows you your upper limit. If you actually burn out, I think it's a good thing because then it shows you like, wow, you you were working, you were progressing, right? You were showing up, you were doing the thing, you were taking the steps. Like you were investing in your purpose. You were investing in things that were going, to, that's gonna make your life better or the people around you. Like that should be applauded. You should applaud that. You should recognize that as like, wow, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And now you know your upper threshold. You know your energetic boundaries. You know your physical boundaries, your physical limitations, right? And so now there's this, this beautiful invitation where you get to recognize like, okay, here and here is my pocket. So let me keep myself in this pocket. Let me respect myself. You know, in the society we live in, they want you to they want you to be in grind culture. They want you working all the time. They want you obsessed. They want you focused, which is all great. Which is all great. Now I'm not about to tell you that it's bad. It's all great. But what's not great is not recognizing your upper limits. What's not great is ignoring your boundaries. What's not great is recognizing when you're having a breakdown or when you're in a burnout situation and you say, oh, I'm gonna just keep pushing through. And then you turn to alcohol to cope or you turn to violence because you have not you have no peace in your mind. So you turn to violence. That's, that's what's not okay. Or you abuse some other substance because you have no peace. You have no ability to regulate yourself, to regulate your nervous system, to regulate your emotions. You don't even know what your emotions are because you're so stuck in grind that you don't even hear your own breath. You don't even hear your breath. So my invitation to you, I'm not gonna tell you to slow down, do what you wanna do. My invitation to you is to listen to yourself and to have an authentic relationship with yourself and to honor where you are at that moment. There's going to be times in life where you need to push and there's gonna be times in life where it's going to pull you. Regardless, I just want you to listen to yourself. Listen to your voice. What is it telling you at this moment? What do you need in this moment? That's where your freedom lies, by listening to your most authentic self. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Free Your Energy Podcast. Now, before you go, I wanna tell you about my brand new course, Discover Your Authentic Purpose. I made this course to help people, to walk with people, to, to invite people, to hold a space for people to get closer to their purpose. And there are so many different things that prohibit us or, or stop us or kind of give us friction. And so I created this course, it's an eight week course. Week one, self-imagination. Week two, no more playing small. Week three, uh, activating and aiming your powerful emotions. Week four, reprogram your subconscious mind. Week five, a genuine review. Week six, breaking through self-limiting beliefs. Week seven, overcoming adversity and the underdog mentality. Week eight, clarity on purpose through writing. And then week nine, we'll have a closing integration and ceremony. So there's two ways to come into this course. If you just heard those weeks and you're like, hey, I'm attending, I'm, I'm there. You can come in that way and then you can attend each one of the live sessions where you'll be able to give me feedback right away. You'll be able to ask me questions, follow up questions, any question like, hey, how, what, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? What would you do in this situation? You can get it that way where it's any question you want, which is awesome, right? Now that price point is gonna be $2,497. There's six different payment options. If you're like, hey, you know, I, I want this, but I may not be able to attend the lives, but I just, I wanna get all the teachings. You can just flat out right now, just buy the course. Uh, if you go that route, it's gonna be 297 and that's a one-time purchase of 297, okay? 
Um, now, how you can find this course, just go to my Instagram or go to my Twitter, wherever you follow me. Um, go to one of those websites, all right? And then on my link tree, you just click the link tree, it's right there. It says, discover your authentic purpose course. You can come right into the course. So again, remember, there's, if you go with the live, um, the $2,497 option, there's six different payment plans. So it's pay in full, pay for th three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, uh, or pay in two months. If you cannot attend the lives, or maybe that that price point entry uh, is a little bit outside of you at this moment, then you can just do the 297. The 297, it gives you access to all the lives once they're finished, once they're edited, once they're added to the program, you'll get all the lives, um, you'll get all the teachings. So just to be clear, the only difference is that that live component, the people who wanna ask questions, they wanna show up, they wanna interact with me and have their questions heard right then and there, they come to a live component. That's the only difference. I just wanted to be clear on that. You know, sometimes when you're selling a course, you may have like a VIP and those people are getting more access or different things. In this situation, yeah, I mean, you are getting direct access to me for eight straight weeks with each topic that we're going through. Uh, so I just wanted to be clear on that. So again, that course is called Discover Your Authentic Purpose. And I wanna say one more thing on the topic. Your purpose is to heal. Your purpose is to listen to yourself. Your purpose is to trust your voice. The world that we live in is built to make you not hear yourself. It's built to make you seek validation. It's built to make you care about what everybody else has to say about everything and to not even know what you think about the little things. My invitation to you right now is to listen here. Do what's best for you. Like these business coaches, these gurus, these social media, like these news outlets, everyone has an agenda. And I'm no, I'm no different. I have an agenda too. You have an agenda. We all have these agendas. And what I want for you is to recognize that and to take a step back and to listen here. Listen to yourself. That's how you free yourself. That's how you free your energy. You tune into this voice right here. Close your eyes. Get away from the senses of this world. What do I need? What do I need in this moment? Tune into that. All right. Thank you for joining us here on the Free Your Energy Podcast. Uh, if you're watching here on YouTube, I really appreciate you. Drop a comment below. I haven't dropped a YouTube video in a while. If you're listening to uh, the audio, uh, again, I appreciate you so much for tuning in. You could have listened to a million different podcasts, but you chose the Free Your Energy Podcast. I'm your host, Sylvester McNutt the third best-selling author of nine books. I can't even believe I have nine books. Years ago, I had zero books. I had nine books. I'm just so grateful for all the love and the support over the years. With that being said, I hope you continue to free your energy.